What is going on? I haven't done a Hero Clicks video in a minute. Things have been piling up. Um, but I would say this last week we've got tons of crazy stuff going on. Let's start with my least favorite, and I don't mean to be a jerk about this. Um, WizKids just announced they're doing like something with Orville. Um, looks like it's going to be Clicks. I just think with all the properties in the world, why Oroville? And when it comes to Fox properties, it's like we could have had Serenity. So it's like Fox isn't usually the best go-to um, for the best stuff. Uh, Orville, nothing against it. I've watched a couple episodes. It's cool. Uh, but as far as just a player, you're just like, like I don't know. I'm wondering what is next. Um, or what we could have done different, but I mean, something is going on clearly. I guess it, the good news on that is it looks like we can get more, uh, more properties, you know, seeing if we'll do things like this. But we have to remember this is the company that had <coughs> Lone Ranger and, um, things like that. It's so like, let's get Pacific Rim back. Why didn't they do it for the sequel or any of the other Arkham games? Um, even though that is DC, but it's just one of those things where it's like, I don't know. I don't get it. But, uh, that being said, let's see what I can come up here with next. All right. So, uh, this was, I think just today, um, Thane was released. I believe he is going to be, um, I think he's first place prize with all the, um, minions of Thanos set i'm not 100 percent, but i'm pretty sure um i thought i was over the phoenix force stuff um i i personally like them because of the storyline but far as playability some are really broken but at the same time they're really costly so you'd only get to bring them out when someone's your store or wherever you play at decide to do like a thousand point game and then you could play them you really didn't ever get to run all of them unless you just made a fun game, but it'd be hard to balance against that. You'd have to get some uh, Phoenix Busters to help you out there. But uh, we have, um, and I believe, I'm going to zoom it in, just or make it a little bit bigger. This is weird how they did this page. It's like way axis, axis size. Uh, Inhumans, which is really cool. Um, I really like seeing Inhumans getting new pieces. Uh, Phoenix Force, Cosmic Deity. Phoenix Force you won't see too much of in modern. Um, a lot of that has moved away. Once per game, when Thanos would be KO'd, or Thane, Jesus. Instead, turn to click 10. Um, roll D6, heal him a number of clicks equal to the result. If Thane is 150 points, instead... Heal him a number of clicks equal to half his result. So regardless, he is going to be getting that ability and healing. So he has no other powers besides that trait and then this other trait. This could do good. Yes. At the beginning of the game, choose a standard power. If, uh, if Thane has two action tokens, opposing characters can't use that chosen power. Not bad, but at the same time... I mean, a lot, of, a lot of these really good pieces don't really focus on, like, one power, and that's what makes them good. I would say, if anything, it would be, um, if anything, it would be maybe if you you have a mind controller on your team, and they got a, quite a bit of battle fury or something like that, um, that would be when you would be like, all right... You know, something like that. But other than that, it's like, oh, I'm going to get rid of your pulse wave. And it's like, fine, I'll just still hit you for whatever, you know. I don't know. But, again, it, it's cool. It's a really badass looking piece. I like thing personally. That Thanos storyline is really cool. I actually um, picked up the Thanos wins part of it where we get Cosmic Ghost Rider because I've read um, issues by themselves but I haven't put it all together so I ordered uh, that trade and have been reading that it's a really good read recommend that to anybody um, but yeah I'm not it would be cool to have I don't see this as something that you must have or something too crazy where we're like 
gotta have it. Um, I guess since we're right here, this comes up a lot blurrier than I expected. People had a really good zoomed in picture, but we had a... The reveal with this was we had Teen Titans. Um, we see the new uh, Flash, looks like Starfire. Can't make out what this is. People are probably pulling it out, so forgive me. Um, thought that was a better image. We'll get to Captain Marvel and these guys in a second. So we had this show up. Uh, there's been multiple sightings of the other um, Metal Batman. I would assume that they're going to be a chase. And again, credit to where credit's due. I know two click share this. Um, not 100% where they got it from. So maybe if uh, people can say who, just because I don't want to take that from them. Um, people were uh, using the Batman Who Laughs uh, a statue. Saying that was the click and that wasn't the click, but then I've seen other images of this the, the click. So it's just with rebirth, we basically know now we're going to get a a um a metal set. I'm guessing Chase. I don't see why they wouldn't be as a huge draw. And it looks like we're gonna get some decent characters again. I wanna stay far as away as we can from uh Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, but of course they're right front and center. I get it, but it's the same with the Avengers. We're kind of tired of getting the same guys over and over. And unless you totally tweak them, Earth X I think was cool because we got a different cap, a different Hulk, you know, things like that. With this, we're going to probably get the rebirth versions of them. Um, especially if Metal played a huge part in it. That's the only downer, but again, just for DC to pump out another set, I'm excited because we barely get DC sets. Um, it's funny building. I'm just like not even going to that side when I'm like, oh crap, you know, Flash got a speed still really good. Why am I not putting him on the build? Uh, but yeah, so that is what we got. Um, I guess what we could do is check out these two. Um, I did look at Black Dwarf a little bit. He seemed really interesting. Um, he basically has Blade Claws with Super Strength. When he uses uh, Blade Claws, if he's holding an object, you may increase the result of your D6 plus 1 if you do remove the object from the game. I think that's awesome. It's on his first two clicks. He's pretty beefy for 100 points. Um, damage isn't great, but they kind of do that with Blades. They leave it like in the middle with a 3 to gamble or not to gamble. Um, White Box is really good. He's not Power Cosmic, which is interesting because I know he's, you know, he's Cosmic, but I think that probably made him a little worse. Um, but his Invincible and Super Senses do seem a little chunky because they are protected outwit and Pulse Wave. So, um, if you're Pulse Waving that guy, good luck. He's got Invincible and Super Sense is still to go with it. Um, and you can't outwit it. So that's the huge, the, the biggest thing. And it's only one click, but I think that's fair for 100 points. You just got to get him off it. If you get him off it, then um, you got three clicks of Invincible to go through. Um, and to improve, but still, it's not like he's not beatable. But zero range, he's just a beater. You're going to need a TK in there to uh, have some fun. But definitely minions of Thanos are getting some love now, and it's really cool. And especially with the movie coming out, a lot of people get hyped and want to play it. Um, I know like when people got done watching like Luke Cage or Defenders, they wanted to use those pieces. So this is really cool that we get a chance to play these guys. Even though they didn't call him Black Dwarf in the movie. I don't think they ever said his name at all. Um... Sorry, there's so much stuff that's piled in here. Isaac, I did not look at yet, so I'm kind of, I'm kind of excited for this one, and I will tell you why. It's because um, the whole concept of the tokens that, to me, that's just that's just huge for me, at least in in, in my humble opinion. Um, what the heck is this? Something else popping up over here. Um, 
So let's get that. All right. Uh, I, I I love tokens. There's a lot of fun things you can do with it. Um, but I gotta see how his doll looks. Meh. But that might be important. So uh, on his fist, he has generate. One of Isaac's bystanders, they may only generate, oh wait, you may only generate chaos. That's weird. So you only can do chaos, which is this first one, which is, or am I missing the next part? This dang picture they made it where I can't grab the corner of it you can only generate chaos if the oh, okay okay so you can only generate chaos if Lord Ga Gaia and Steel Arax are out first and that makes sense because I'm like yeah cool I'll take him first he's got phase and pin psych um, range of six but okay so that'll be on his first two dials. Um, not a trait, which is kind of a bummer. So he's not going to just be popping them out. But again, main lens of Thanos, pretty dope. Eternal, um, and he's a robot. You can do a lot of fun robot things. I've been looking for uh, good ideas with Nick Fury, the new robot one from Battle World. Um, this may be a good candidate, 50 points. Uh, I am now Isaac Prime, blah, blah, blah. Stop impervious. Uh, when this click is revealed, generate all of his bystanders that aren't on a map. That's kind of cool. So I'm wondering if they die, can you just pop them all back out? Interesting. Because uh, power action is to generate to pop one out. And this is max one. Each has max one, so you can't do more than one. But I'm wondering if they all die, can I pop them all out once I get to my stop click? Because that'd be a good play to just risk them all, KO them, double power action. Oh, well, they all got Indom, which is insanely good. Um, and all have zero points, which is good as well. So his special damage, he only has a one click, second click, outwit when Isaac uses it. Um, Oh, wow. Okay, so... If you're two or blah, blah, blah. It's just so fuzzy how they have this. I would when Isaac has... Two or something has targeted a character in the starting... Regardless of the range of line of fire. So it looks like there's a way to do it regardless of the range and line of fire to um, outwit. But if you if your succeeds, I believe it says, and if your succeed, two or better. I don't know. So the, the wording is so tiny and small, but it seems good. I mean... It's only one click out of all yours, though. But he's got Anton too. I think, again, this is a really good support piece. 50 points, I can't complain. Um, I'm actually okay with this. Robot Eternal. And then the the tokens aren't bad. Running Shot, Pin Psych. Why did I freaking think this was Running Shot? So Chaos has TK. That's a huge deal. But you can't pop out unless... Uh, these failures do, and then he's got that reversed, uh, the, that reverse fist, the new logo, or the new, uh, thing that we got added to our rulings about tokens. Um, but yeah, I still am okay with dropping out these guys. Running shot, five range, pin psych, ESD. This guy's got close combat, plasticity, that's a good lockup piece. That's actually really good with Quake. And he got barrier, that's, this is, this could be a nasty piece. Built the right way. Could be a very, 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 very nasty piece. Um, just like I said, my first thought was robots and stuff like that. 
minions may work well I'm not sure yet I'd have to see what else we got but so far those are looking awesome um, we have a WKO coming up at our local store Great Escape Games so I'm excited before I get to Captain Marvel was there someone else I needed to get to I think that covered everybody it's a mess in here all right, well, let's get to Captain Marvel. So anyways, we've been getting leaks like crazy of the new Captain Marvel set. I'm not going to list all of them because we're going to probably do an unboxing, I assume. Um, because that's one set that it's just, we're really, people are going to, like, I don't, I don't mind unboxings. I will watch them myself, but putting them out there, a lot of people complain about them and stuff like that. But when it comes to... Um, I do it to let people look at oh what what were the odds of what he got out of here or whatever um, but still some people just don't care this one I think people really should care because we need to figure out how are the chases coming out how many super rares or what how are we doing this um, we know she's at 21 um, this could be the last chase I don't know if there's two chases there normally used to be when there was a mass market one when they had target had it or wherever else had it but uh now they don't do that anymore so um it, it got really screwed up really bad but now if that's the case i would appreciate at least two especially the fact that they did mark up the value on these um msrp of the gravity feeds and i'm hoping the whole point of them up upping it it's not just ripping us off, but it's like, hey, we're putting good quality product in here, and you're getting good stuff no matter what. And by the looks of it, the set's solid. A um, lot of good shield stuff, a lot of good scroll stuff. Cree, I, I told everybody, to, you, you may want to hold on to the Ultra Chase. Just because, number one, I understand. It was like $300 at one point. But I'm like, he may get a lot of love with the Captain Marvel set. I kept telling everybody... I had mine, I put mine up for a little bit, then I actually took it down because I was like, you know what, there may be some Kree love coming, um, I really feel it because of course Captain Marvel is going to deal with a lot of it, but how well will it help him? We're going to see, there's a lot of good stuff in there, I saw a lot of good Kree in there, um, the set just looks really good, I'm glad it, we deserve a good set, we didn't get a Black Panther set for the movie, so... Getting Captain Marvel is awesome. You know, she's got a... This is the, the chase that everyone's been talking about. Uh, it's odd that they give her Avengers. Um, I don't know if it's a spoiler or not. How does she become Avenger already? I have no idea. Usually these are pretty accurate. Because a lot of people are always mad. Like, hey, why isn't this guy got this keyword or this keyword? Because he's on this team. And it's like, well, he's not quite on that team yet. So, um, interesting. We have Kree, Show, Cosmic Soldier... Again, WizKids is not being greedy anymore, really, with the keywords. Again, if you go back to that X-Men set, the last one, they were literally just giving people, like, X-Men, X-Factor, and that was it. So now that we're getting all these other ones, it's very fun, especially for me that have to write builds monthly for everybody. I like to try to change the dynamic because I don't want the same builds every week. So we try to do things where it matches keywords. So this is great for Soldier, Cosmic, yada, yada, yada. So when Captain Marvel takes two or more damage from a single attack after resolution, note her click number and then turn her to click 11. We're going to look at that. It's bananas. Um, to me, it's crazy, like, hitting her for two damage. Um, if she would be killed, she can't. She can't turn to click 11. So, basically, if you're at the end of your dial, you get the two damage. If it kills her, you're not going to uh, 11. Uh, friendly characters that are adjacent or have Kree keywords, so you don't have to be adjacent if you have Kree, have protected uh, opposing prob control. That is really big. And I think, again, this goes with Ultra Chase. She's pricey. He's pretty... He's like in the middle. He's like 100... But you actually have, I think, some fun with them too, and in a, in a, in a open or an uh, uh, ROC, just because they're just gonna be fun to play. You may not win, but you'll fun. Um, 
and then if a friendly character is both adjacent and has the Kree keyword, it can use probability control but only target itself. Another huge thing, but again, this is going to be where energy explosion comes in. Um, a lot of people are, are always looking for a Stormbreaker. Um, the key to get around energy explosion, Stormbreaker, is find those cosmic pieces that say they can't be targeted part of a multiple attack. Because if you target anyone and they're next to them, they're technically targeted as well. So they can't use energy explosion. So remember that anytime you're worried about energy explosion um, during your build. Uh, running shot, when Captain Marvel uses it after resolution, she may use charge at no cost but can't target the same character. Ridiculous. That's just amazing. Then she's got supercharge, impervious, colossal stamina. Stamina, stamina. Uh, at the end of your turn, if Captain Marvel would be KO'd, return to the most recent noted click, protected out with a pulse wave. They can't get rid of it. Much as you know, I'm like, oh, you got to use a power cosmic character in a lot of these competitive matches. Um, she definitely does not care. Why do I feel like I passed it like three times? We're three times. There we go. So, uh, that's that dial. Hypersonic Pulse Wave. Um, 20 defense. 5 damage. But even her, all the way up to click 1, I mean... She gets a little rough about, you know, 4 or so. Losing the leadership and getting into Envil. But then, kind of fires back at 6 with, um... She's got Flurry. She's got Imperv. She has Range Combat Expert. Odd to have those two together, range combat expert and flurry, but I still think she's decent. I mean, 150 is not bad for all that you're getting. It, it, it's pretty gross what she's getting. Um, I wish we put these in better order. So the only one that's going to be is that running shot where she ignores characters. She does not have uh, improved targeting on her. Uh, around her circle, around her face, where it normally does. But on the bottom, she does have Avengers Initiative, which is uh, charging through hindering and moving through hindering. So that's pretty cool. Seeing through things is pretty badass. And then that running shot, just ignoring people while you're running. It's just, man, it makes me want to think this movie is going to be awesome. Um, that's basically it. I just... I'm really excited about this running shot since like 18. Um, you can outwit that Invincible, so don't think she's like not touchable. She's still going to be, you know, a little fragile. She's going to need some help. Um, she's badass, but like I said, without that power cosmic and stuff, it'll be rough. But if you're taking that two damage, which is great on Invincible, um... You're going to knock yourself back to 11 and come back to, at least as far as I understand, hit to 11, and then you're going to come back and get go back to your first click. Um, it's nuts. But anyways, that's just a quick roundup of everything dropping this last week or so. My teeth got yanked out, so I've been like MIA. I haven't even been doing MTG Arena. We got to Mythic, which was really exciting. Um, now i got to work... Again, to go up in arena again, I just got to make the time. And, like, I've been hurting. You look like a wild, crazy person. I am. Um, so, yeah. That'll be another video coming up. I think we're going to get close to doing a podcast, at least for Hero Click soon. Um, Destiny's been weird, but we're going to try to revive it. We have plans and ideas. There's a lot of stuff going on. Um, we're still doing our little Hero Clicks League dedicated to my friend, and we will be giving out um, our numbers of our locals and stuff like that. But then online, I may do something as well. Um, but yeah, for right now, that shall do it. Um, hopefully, we'll be back here with some unboxing of Captain Marvel. It's going to be pretty hard to get, I think, your hands on these. These are going to be really good. I think they're all great support pieces. If not, like this, a good tank. But we will see. Uh, so that is it. Thank you guys for watching. Breaking news. I got two hits. Breaking news. You got two hits.
Look, I have one and two. Well, you need to be careful. They said two nits. <laughs> <laughs> have a good one. Bye.